Now, if you wake up feeling weary, you might be one of the growing number of Australians with sleep apnea. A landmark study has found that for smokers, with the condition, a lack of sleep is the least of their worries. Father of two, Scott Surridge lives in a constant state of exhaustion. When you wake up with sleep apnea and you don't have any uh, assistance from the machine, you wake up uh, tired as if you haven't slept. Despite being diagnosed with sleep apnea eight years ago, the 58-year-old continues to smoke 15 cigarettes a day. Experts say every one of them makes his condition worse. Of course, I was aware that my smoking does affect my breathing and therefore that does affect my snoring. A landmark study by the Heart Research Institute has found high levels of nicotine consumption can lead to dangerously low levels of oxygen during sleep. Spending more time at oxygen saturations below 90% has been shown to carry increased risk for heart attacks, heart failure and overall mortality. Sleep apnea blocks the flow of air into the lungs, causing breathing to pause. The lack of oxygen is what wakes a sufferer from their sleep hundreds of times a night in severe cases. The condition affects about 20% of men and 1 in 10 women. And the more of this uh, metabolite, which indicates the more smoking, um, the more cigarettes smoked, uh, places you more at risk for lower oxygen saturations. And it can be fatal. Experts say smokers should kick the habit before the damage is done. I do feel a lot of pressure though because smoking is not like, uh, hey, I'm not going to drink coffee today. It's very insidious. You, you start up, you light up a smoke without even realise, realising you're doing it. Mitchell Sariovsky, 7 News.